Hey Amani, this is the demo for Nevergrave, The Witch and the Curse, and this is recorded during the Steam Next Fest event, and I'll link to the Steam page in the description down below for those that are interested, and what caught my eye was that the publisher for this game is the same publisher that published Power World, and that was, or that, I mean, that the recording is, is, still is, a really, really, really popular game, for better or for worse. So yeah, they have this demo up, and... From the initial screenshots and from what I've heard, this plays a lot like Hollow Knight meets Dead Cells. And at the time of this recording, I just read that they're stopping future development with Dead Cells, so here's might as well try this. Now, now's, now's the right time to try this, so. Yeah, I haven't personally beaten Hollow Knight or Dead Cells. I just, I just haven't, but. Yeah, here we are. I have no idea what to expect other than it hopefully being fun. <laughs> I mean, like, Hollow Knight and Dead Cells, well, I mean, what can go wrong, right? So, X is This is it's best played with a controller, so I am using a controller. Oh, I'm a hat. <laughs> 50 health hat. So, X is possess and right trigger is dodge. Okay, that's dodge. So, you can jump. Can try and possess. I guess it's like an attack as well. I mean, like the like art style is. I want to say like ninety nine percent sure it's inspired by Hollow Knight. <laughs> Just saying. Possess. So we can also relinquish by right a bumper. Okay. Uh, controls? Oh, there's something up there too, but... Yeah, controls nice. For, I mean, initially. I mean, I'm, I'm not in battle yet, so... Can we go up there? there? There was something up there. So we had to relinquish. Oh, okay. So maybe... Oh, I kind of want to go up there. Oh, I want to see because we when we relinquish it like shoots our shoots upwards. Oh, oh, okay. So we can actually uh, summon. So let's relinquish. It doesn't really seem like it requires mana. So let's see if we can actually go up there. Because I am curious. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Oh well. It is what it is. So we can do this. Interesting mechanic though. And then we can summon whatever we possess. Ah, possess. <laughs> Alright. What is this? Oh. There's crafting materials? I did not know that. Alright, so we got some stuff. There's a walking hand. <laughs> I wonder if we can possess... I, I, I'm sure there's only like a small amount of things. Or like, we can't... We can't... Like, possess everything, right? <laughs> I'm sure there's only... It, if, if it's something we can possess, it will tell us that we can't possess. <laughs> Otherwise, we can't possess. The music's nice, though. So we can look around. There's a path up. Alright. Never mind. I thought there was a path up, but... No. I, yeah, it looks like there's a path up based off the mini-map, but... Oh, there is! Okay. Interesting. I guess we can't just access it. And we can swim! I don't know if there's an oxygen meter since we're possessing something that's dead already. So. Oh, is that a secret? It is a secret. Ruby of Vitality increases your max HP capacity. Effect disappears upon leaving the dungeon. We're at 52 health now. There's a chest this way.
All right, what's in this chest? Money and stone, durable material used for architecture. Is this a city builder? Or not a city builder, like a town builder? <laughs> so there's the path. I do notice that it does this weird thing where like, it hangs on the ceiling if you do like a full jump for like a brief second. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Yeah, who needs to open by pressing up? They just attack the door. <laughs> I mean, so far we've only seen this enemy, so I don't know what to expect. And they don't seem to be that menacing. They're, they're just walking around. And there's a secret here. Another ruby of vitality. You are 54 health. Alright, so there, is, there are secrets. Spirit shot level 2. Fire is a straight magic bullet. Okay, so we have 8 uses. Cool. Cast magic. So how do we refresh? Oh, there's another enemy, okay. Oh, I missed. I missed. Oh jeez. I panicked. <laughs> oh, I did take damage, okay. Alright. I mean, this is like the, a tutorial-ish area, so... It's not... That... Unforgiving. You know, there's a training W right there. What's here? Is there the B in a, a form to actually pick stuff up? Money! Alright. You can recover a small amount of MP by hitting an enemy with a basic attack. Okay. I don't think I've noticed that when I've attacked the fly or whatever that bug creature was. Healing Delight. Recover 70% of HP. Sweetness is usually only found in dreams. Sure. So we can go right. Or we can go up here. Just. Timber. So I guess we can make furniture based off that description. Combo basic. Try dodging to move behind an enemy. And use X for a basic attack behind. Oh, ow. You drop the food or meat. <laughs> All right. What a predicament. That wasn't too bad. Is there anything over here? No. We... Oh, I didn't get the last one. <laughs> Crimson Ray Guardian. Oh, no. Preemptive attack. Oh, yeah, boss music. Nice. Wait, what's... Causing damage to me? Is it just touching? Yeah, apparently... Okay, so t just touching that hurts. Good to know. Good to know. I'm at 3 health. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> That's a lot of health. <laughs> oh, we also have the range attack too. Totally forgot. So what happens when we die? Right, were we supposed to have be been able to defeat that boss? You go, I'm so hungry. Oh, greetings. It seems like you've been through a lot. In case of emergency, use this potion. May God bless you. Small potion. Recover the HP when used cannot be used when HP is full. You can enter the ruins first layer to your right. The exit near the altar leads to the village. The village might provide something useful for your endeavors. Okay. What's well, over here? S Botanic gardens first layer. Institute first layer, okay, so it's like a fast travel hub. 
But only when you die? Let's go to the village. This village was destroyed in the midst of the battle. First of all, we have to deal with the rubble. Sure, why not? There's more. Alright, I think we got rid of all the rubble. I guess, I guess there's more rubble. Oh, there is more rubble. What should I do? The whole village lies in shambles. We cannot even try to rebuild so with so much trouble in the way. Okay, a little more. All the rubble is gone. So now we talk to the other dudes. Well, what's going on? Thank you. Or thanks to you, the debris has been taken care of. A small token of gratitude. Please take it. We have money. Alright, the real work of rebuilding the village starts now. Every extra hand helps. So we can go left or right. Yeah, I'm gonna go right for now. Let's go to the church. Oh, this this was the church, okay. So then to the left we go. Now the village looks ready to start over, thank you. I found these materials in the rubble, please take them. Okay. You know, I think you'd be great at building. Can you try to place a soil block? Okay, it's this button. Let's see, terrain. Let's put it right here. You already put up a soil block? If can do this, maybe we can dream of rebuilding the village. I mean... Okay. Well, let's do the... Oh, you have something new? Looks like you tried your hand at building. Great! If you set up a research facility, you can spend money to research new buildings and skills. Try building one. Okay, let's build... I keep hitting the bumpers by accident. Research facility. Workbench for craftsmen who can research, research blueprints. Alright, let's put it. I think that should be fine. Alright, a new blueprint cannot be researched. Oh, hey there! I was originally an inventor in the court. I always loved making new things. Anyway, let's research floating sword right away. If we research it, you'll be able to, you'll be able to use it as well. I mean... Okay, I don't know how we can record anything else. This area, yeah, we already got that. We're gonna do the soil block there, and interesting stuff. Like, I don't know if, like I said, it falls in line with a lot of introductory secrets where we were forced to fail. But I feel like, had it been slightly better, we could have taken it. <laughs> but yeah, it's an interesting start. Interesting, like, very, I can see why they say it's more like Hollow Knight. I don't see the comparison to Dead Cells. Maybe that will happen in the future. Pro probably. So, I don't know. I also don't know how much this is going to cost, so. Yeah, like I said, I'll link to the Steam page in the description down below for those interested. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a nice day.